In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use this function called cross insert. Before we start though, we need to pay attention to this area here. Now we must make sure that the cross insert has a minimum value here. So by default, 3D Studio Max sets it at 0.1 mm. The cross insert function will only work when this is a non zero number here. Okay? So how does this work? Now, in many scenarios, we would have had lines crossing across lines this way, one line crossing another line like this. Okay, notice here, this line cuts across diagonally across three lines here. Now, this is very, very helpful for us or useful for us uh, when we need to establish or to create another point in right at the junction of these points. All right, which is uh, not very easy to do or not very easy to, to get in 3D Studio Max, right? But when we use this function, we can easily create this, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So click on the cross insert button to activate the command. And then notice when I mouse over the junctions here, the cursor changes, okay? So by clicking on it, we will be able to create the cross insert points. All right. This is very, very useful, particularly when we create this already and we need to further process it. Like for example, to, uh, to move it. Okay. Notice these lines. Okay. This line has been created with new vertex points already. Like this.